I'm Camille from Camille's Prime Ideas, and today I have a singing time lesson plan for reviewing for your primary program. Now this is week four out of four. So we're coming to the end of the Stories of Jesus um, primary program singing time review. So it's been entitled Stories of Jesus New Testament singing time review. So just to recap, we've done week one, Scenes by the Wayside, and this is where we worked on all our words. And we have week two, Tales of the Sea. So we worked on dynamics using various water cards. Um, and we worked on just the different dynamics of our songs. So week four, we did the love light of Jesus' face. Now this is where we worked on bringing the spirit into our songs. And then lastly, to end, we have a chapel review. So this one says, tell them to me. Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Mark 10, 14. So tell them to me. I mean, we're going to literally be telling them to me. We're going to be telling our testimonies in the pro for the program. When you share your testimony through talks and song, you are coming to Jesus Christ. Prepare for your primary presentation by practicing it all together. So I do recommend for your primary programs that you do have some sort of a, a run-through. It might not be a complete run through just for lack of time but there are a few things that you need to get established when you before your program first and foremost seating where is everybody going to sit everybody needs a seat children and teachers so usually that's a primary presidency assignment and if it's not it should be um, just make sure everyone knows where they're going to sit secondly if you're you know where you're going to stand now, I think one of my biggest pet peeves is when the primary music leader stands up and blocks all the kids. You can't see the kids. Ah, I, all the parents came to see the children. So you want to find a spot to stand that is kind of the least inconspicuous from behind you, but still that the children and the pianist can see you. So in my building, we have a riser. It's probably, it's just this wood, wooden, I don't know, the the chorister, what would you call them? The where the music chorister, the person who leads the music in sacred meeting, that's what they can stand on and it's movable. So it's pretty big and it's kind of heavy. It's made of wood, it's carpeted, but it's mobile. So for me, I just take that riser and I move it down to the floor, right in front of the first pew. So it's on the floor, if that makes sense, in front of the first pew on the piano side. So I am standing on the floor, but I'm raised up just probably like this high. It's like, a, maybe that's too much, this uh, step. So, and then what I'll do is, I wish I had a music stand here. I'll raise up the music stand high enough so it's over that, that wall, you know, the privacy wall, is that what that's called? So the kids can see the music and I post the words. I know that's controversial, but I do just for the program. We always have that child last minute child that just came to sacrament meeting and they wanted to participate in the program or there's just a couple songs that we just we don't quite we don't quite know but it's okay and i wanted to sing the second verse you know so i just i love to just post the words over the back of my music stand and it's raised up and they can all see this it, it, and the teachers they're all sitting there and they can all see it and i asked all the teachers and when we practice to sing, please sing, but I don't want them to stand. So I just, we need volume. My primary is not huge. We're probably, I think 24, 25 for this year. Um, so I just, this just helps me produce volume. The kids know almost probably 95% of the songs, but they get stage fright too. And they're nervous and they're performing. So this just helps everyone sing with a little more confidence. And what I do, what my little trick is, so I've got the words here and you flip it over, I've got my words here. So what they see is what I see. It's so great. So, and then I also put a little, if you can see that, four of four. So that's the, the time signature. So when I conduct, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So, and then to flip our next song, there's our next song, The Miracle and they know what they're singing and I know what we're singing. So, cause they are following me, those non-readers, they follow me. Now I do usually have my children's songbook available with me cause 
I'm human and maybe I messed up the order or something so I can have the songbook there just in case. But usually it just is a paperweight to keep this from falling over the back of the music stand because sometimes it'll get too heavy and whoop. Anyway, so get a hymn book or the children's songbook. That's what I like. I'll just have it sitting on the stand with me. So this is just my little trick. My mom, a couple, it's been a couple years now, but after the program, she goes, I am so amazed. How did you have all the children's eyes on you? <laughs> and I'm like, dang, they were reading. So they were all looking at me at something somewhere for their eyes to focus on. They weren't getting distracted. It was, it just, it's, it works great. And, and then the audience doesn't even know, like my mom had no idea that I had something. It's totally hidden. I've got the music stand. All they think is that I've got music. So, and then you just keep flipping through. And then I even put like, we do a little sign language on the chorus for the miracle. And I have a couple places where I forget. So I've just written a couple notes. Um, nothing is impossible. That's the poems and I still can't hear nothing. Oh, is impossible is, um, <laughs> see, I always forget. This is impossible. Anyway, so, and when I'm nervous, I'm gonna forget it even more. So here I'm not even nervous and I forgot. So highly suggest if you need it. If you don't need it, great. It's not for everybody, but it works in my primary. Okay, so, if, and then I just recommend getting this all in order for the program, before the program. So at practice, you've got, so you, I've, okay, I've got all my songs right. And what, make sure when it looks this way, you've got the same pages. Does that make sense? So same copy in the layout. And then it just goes like that. And then you can, depending on how you want to flip, I'm in the habit of going um, back to front, but you can flip it however you like. So post the words, it's a game changer. Um, and then I do our primary, just hands out the presidency, does an outline. So I gave them the outline that I wrote that's available on my website and they took it from there. So it was great. So they just edited it. They added all the children's parts and the songs. I to the songs and then they adjusted as needed what certain children are going to be reading, which teachers are going to be reading the teacher summary. And then they figured out seating from there. And then one of the presidency members is going to sit next to the podium on a chair and just man, just help with the stools or the microphone going up and down. And we did suggest that we just were keeping the podium all the way down low. And then the children, they can just raise the microphone as needed. Cause we just want to be able to see the faces. That's why we came was to listen and to see the children's faces and feel of their spirit. So that is kind of the logistics of what I would recommend running through. Um, if you cannot get into the chapel on a Sunday cause your wards overlap, I would try and set up the chapel, the chairs in the primary room to mimic the choir chairs. So there's the same number of seats. So you would know exactly where people are sitting. And then if you even had just five minutes to run into the chapel, find your seats and just so you can kind of visually see, then you're not scrambling the day of your program. Um, our primary does, I do suggest also not having the primary go up into the stand until after the sacrament. I've done both. Um, it's just a little disruptive for the sacrament to have all the primary kids sitting up there. So usually what we do is after the sacrament, the bishop will get up and excuse everybody on the stand. And then our pianist is usually right there available and he'll start playing as the children all come up and find their seats. And since they already know where to sit, it's great. It's fast. It takes not very long. So that's just how our primary runs it. Where if you have a bigger primary, that might not be feasible for you, but obviously you've got to do what works best for your primary. That's just what works for us. Okay, so back to practicing. So if you're able to do a whole chapel run through where everyone, you know, sing all the songs, you read all the parts, um, that helps you get a time frame. So just to make sure that your program is long enough or not too long. And if you need to cut certain things, whatever, that's ideal. I mean, we're talking ideal situations. And if you don't, if you can't do that, it's fine. Like, I wouldn't stress about the program. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. People are going to love it. It's not a production. This is just, I mean, the literal name is just presentation. The Children's Sacred Meeting presentation. We're just presenting what we learned, what we've been learning all year in primary and at home. 
So just keep it simple and it's okay. There's going to be some issues. There's going to be a kid up there picking his nose and the congregation is going to love it and eat it up. So, so if you can run through it, great. If you can't, if you can't run through the whole thing, I would make sure everybody finds their seat and then maybe can go up to the microphone and decide if they like the stool or the floor um, and then just say their name into the mic and maybe you can sing one song um, from from the chapel and if not sing sing in the primary room that's fine but if you can sing in the chapel I have this little tool that I love I'll just grab it and I haven't blown them up yet so this is my guy smiley and i got this online i got it's actually a pack of five really inexpensive um it's linked oh and all these printables are linked in the description below so you can get all these so what i do is the night before we're going to be practicing i just run over to our local party store and i fill it up with helium and then i have them attach a really 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 long ribbon string to it and i want it long enough that it can touch the chapel ceiling. So when the kids are singing well enough, the balloon rises as well as, or they can hear, you know, if, if they're singing out. Um, so as soon as if the singing, the volume drops, then he's going to drop. And then if the better they sing, he rises. I've also heard of primaries bringing this in during the presentation. I haven't done it. I don't know if it's, I mean, do what's appropriate for your primary, maybe get Bishop's approval, but I think that would be kind of fun if he just popped up in the very, very back. So no one saw it but the primary. Anyway, but great for the review. So he just, you have usually a presidency member sit in the very back and will raise and lower this guy depending on how well the primary is singing. So it's just a simple tool and you don't even have to man it. Somebody else gets to do it. So I love him. The kids love him. It's, he's just, he's a riot. He's totally fun. Okay, so there's other activities that you can do. If you happen to have a Saturday run through and you're looking for a couple ways to run, um, provide a little more variation, I have some programs like the Sacred Meeting Bulletin that they, kids can color um, and then those can be passed out. I've done that in primary and they are so fun. People get an individually colored program like the Sacred Meeting Bulletin if, you still do, if your words still do those. Um, they're so fun. And then another thing I love are comment cards. If you haven't seen these, um, we just put them in the bulletin and it just has instructions on it. Write down your thoughts during our program and place in the basket at either door as you exit. So I just have some baskets and I actually do keep a couple pens in here and these just sit on the back bench. I have some extras too, if people want to grab that with pens. And then they turn them in after the program and then we read them in sacred meeting or in sacred meeting in singing time after the day after a program. So those are really fun. It's just kind of a time filler, A, that I didn't have to do. It's non-singing, which is a nice break from when you've been singing all of the hour before. And it's just nice. It, 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 I think it helps the congregation interact a little bit more with the program and they have some questions, you know, my favorite song was, I felt the spirit when something I learned today was, and then love, and they can leave their name. So these are fun. I mean, all this is optional. Do what, do what you need. But there's some other activities if you need during your chapel run through, you can have presidency members hold pictures if you don't have access to like the balloon. They could just hold, you know, like a judge, like a judge panel. One picture could represent sound, like an, an ear, a clip art ear or something. Um, something could be the words, like a mouth, like I enunciate more, and something could be the spirit. I don't know. I mean, you can just have presidency members sit throughout the audience while you're practicing and they can, you know, raise, or you could even do like one through 10 and then how well everybody's singing is what they're at the end of the song. I don't know, whatever you want. So if you can just make it a little more fun, so it's not just everybody's sitting there bored and being totally disruptive and it's just chaos. So we want to avoid that. So we just kind of have, have option, options for the children's eyes and minds to go while we're practicing. And usually for our primary, we just do one run through. It's plenty. Um, if you do a Saturday practice, you might have an option to do two. Two just gets a little long and boring, but again, you have to do what is best for your primary. One is, in my opinion, definitely enough. Um, and so you don't even need it if, if you don't have time. We've done that before too. 
So I hope that helps you with your chapel run through and I really hope your primary programs go well. They are probably starting soon, um, end of this month, probably clear in through November. So I'd love if you used the stories of Jesus, if you could leave a comment, if it worked, maybe, maybe if you used bits and pieces of it. I know for me, I didn't get to all four, um, but I definitely loved the Tales of the Sea. That was the dynamics with the water cards. That was a riot. Um, but yeah, our program is coming up as well. So I'm feeling the heat just like all of you and I'm ready to be done and it, it'll be great. Like I'm, I'm not stressed about it. I think I was counting up. I think I've done 11, maybe 12 programs. This might be my 12th, I can't remember, um, since 2008. So it's it's been a while. Um, anyway, so let me know how it goes. I, I would love like feedback if you've used this or if there's things that you would change because this is kind of the format I've been moving into because I used to do big poster boards and I love those. They're they're fun visually, but I feel like it's just not directed as, okay, let's focus on the words this week. Okay, let's focus on the dynamics this week. It's more just, it's singing the song, which is great. Those are great too. Don't get me wrong, but I just kind of love something to, let's focus on. But the posters are fun. They're a blast too. But these are nice too, because I can just print from home. I don't have to store and buy big posters so anyway i would love to know feedback if this format if you've enjoyed it or if you still do posters or if you don't even do anything at all anyway i just i would love to know if because i have like one more year i think and then i've got all four years into this format so okay that said this got kind of long but i really hope that helps you with singing time and again let me know how it goes